Chat with me, Kimberly. Welcome to Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud with me, Kimberly. Welcome to Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud with me, Kimberly. Welcome to Deal or Dud. Where I show you how something caught my eye and it made me click by now. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's really whack. Most times I keep it, but sometimes I'm out of send it back. Maybe it's just too big, maybe it's just too small. Sometimes it doesn't do what I thought it would at all. Sometimes it's just okay. I mean, I'm not in love, which is why I welcome you to watch Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud. Welcome. With me, Kimberly. Welcome to Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud with me, Kimberly. Good evening, Keisha. This is the live where I show you how something caught my eye and it made me click by now. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's really whack. Most times I keep it, but sometimes I gotta send it back. Maybe it's just too big, maybe it's just too small. Sometimes it doesn't do what I thought it would at all. Sometimes it's just okay, I mean I'm not impressed. Maybe it didn't even pass my sleep test. And let me say this too, sometimes y'all take too long. You go to get the deal and the deal's already gone. Welcome to Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud with me. Kimberly. Welcome to Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud, Deal or Dud. Welcome to Deal or Dud with me, Kimberly. Now with your Amazon order, I hope you are pleased. But if you're not, y'all, please don't contact me. Here's the thing that you really, really need to do. Just contact Amazon and let them take care of you. Because they take returns, they'll give you back your money. You telling me when I can't do a thing for you, honey. Because I don't work for them, and they don't work for me. And taking care of you is their responsibility. Because I'm like you. I'm a customer, too. I use the same deals and promo codes that you do. And I don't make the codes, so I don't take requests. And you should read reviews, because that's what's going to serve you best. I don't control the prices or the shipping time. I try to make sure everything that I show is prime. And let me say this too, I hope I'm being really clear. I do appreciate the fact that you are even here because there's so many lives where you could choose to be. And so I'm grateful that you choose to be here with me. And just one more thing, I got a lot to show, but before I do, can you please share and follow? Good evening, everybody in Deal or Dud land on this Tuesday night. Hold on, I don't want to show you my outfit yet. That's my outfit music. I don't want to show you my outfit yet. First, I want to say welcome to the show. I want to thank you for popping on tonight to just watch with me. I'm glad, Kay, that you're getting a lot of deals. Thank you, Dakia, for the follow. I got some good stuff for y'all. Listen, listen, listen. Let me first say... Happy belated uh, Women's International Day to all you beautiful queens out there. Tonight is going to be the queen show. Queen for a day, although we know we are really queens every single day, okay? But we're going to, um, I'm going to do some queen stuff. I'm going to do some queen stuff tonight. My executive producers are not here tonight in the background. They're normally here helping me, singing backgrounds, clicking on stuff, making sure that the show is going smoothly. They left me by myself tonight. They left me all by myself. Dre's not here. Eloise is not here. It's just me by myself. Hey, Winter, thank you for following. And Amazon customer, thank you for following. So they 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 just they just left me all alone tonight. But I I, I think I'm a I think I'm a, a y'all bear with me. I think I'm gonna be okay. I think I'm gonna be okay for the show. Let me just make sure that uh. You know everything that they be doing in the background i gotta uh, click I and i gotta do it like this right here you know think, do my little sound thing and all of that my, but y'all know i always like to start the show with my 
outfit. And so let me let me cue my outfit music. This hard work back here in the background. Oh wait. I don't know what I'm doing back here. Okay, I'm just I can't produce the show like I want to produce the show. But un momento, por favor. Y'all know I can't do a show without saying that. All right, so I'm going to show my outfit because that's how I like to start the show. And then we're going to get right into some things that I've got for you so you can be a queen of the day. I hope that you celebrated yourself wherever you are, whatever it is that you do, whatever your superpower, your uniqueness that you bring to this world. I pray that you took a moment yesterday to celebrate yourself. All right, so... I'm going to celebrate me right now because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm looking all good. My parents did a good job. If they ain't do nothing else, nothing. If they ain't do nothing else, they did at least one thing right. Look at me, y'all. Look at me. They did at least one. I should have called my mama yesterday and told her happy Women's Day. And then, you know, of course, I can't call my daddy on International Women's Day. But he got at least one thing right. All right. I'm going to show y'all my outfit. I'm excited to show it. Um, Invisible Boo Jank, he is standing there. Y'all know every deal or dud night, Invisible Boo Jank takes me out somewhere. He, I don't know where he's taking me tonight, but honey, he is taking me somewhere fantabulous. Y'all please tell me in the comments where we are going in this particular outfit, all right? I'm gonna pop the first thing up in the carousel so you can see it. I am wearing this white garden uh women's uh, i don't even know what to what to let me start my music let me start my music let me start my music thank you um cat i'm gonna do my best i'm gonna do my best okay music please cue music cue music cue music all right hold on y'all hold on okay here we go at the detailing of the of the material like up close like not up close but you know if it was cut a different way and out of a different pattern look like you go on your your grandma table on top of the tablecloth in the middle of the table where she had a fruit bowl and then it'd be sitting underneath the fruit bowl in a little circle and it'd be all dusty because it'd been there for about 20 years when you're parents was a child that look that's how it kind of looked but y'all the look i'm in love i'm in love with it let me find some details for you because i gotta work my own show tonight 
I gotta work my own show tonight. So this is the Pretty Garden Women's Lantern Long Sleeve Round Neck High Low Asymmetrical Irregular Hem Casual Top Blouse Shirt Dress. This is my favorite one. There are several to choose from. There are several styles. All of them don't look like this. Of course, it's in the carousel along with the pricing. You see that it has over 9,000 reviews averaging at four stars. Uh, yes, that lace doily. Yes, Keisha. Yes. Or either that or depending on, you know, what church you went to when you was a child or maybe go to now, they be pinning, the ladies be pinning that thing on their head, the little doily on their head. I don't know what that's for. I'm not sure what that little doily is, is for or anything like that, but you used to see them on your grandma tape. Maybe, maybe not your grandma. Let me talk about my grandma. And then I have one living grandma. She be about to be 90. I don't think I ever seen one at her house, but I don't put it past her. She got one up in there somewhere. Be sitting on the table, all that dust, it'd be just pure gray. By the time you, you know, you come around and you look at it and you're like, grandma, it just been there forever. I'm sure my grandma got one. Or your auntie, or they put them on the on the armrest. Yeah, like that. But that's how this this is what this puts me in the mind frame of. But cut into a blouse, baby. A prayer cap. That's what that is. Okay. Cause I'll be seeing them praying. They be oh no. Do they be ushering when I see them? I think they be ushering and and taking offering and you know, just sitting down clapping. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know. Okay, but thank you for uh, thank you for giving me that 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 insight and that wisdom. I didn't know what the thing was for. Anyway, y'all, I had to do that Wesley Snipes walk on them. That General Izzy. Did y'all watch Coming to America? Coming to America already. Catholics wear them. What they wear them for? Um, Laquita. Put in the comments what they wear them for. But y'all, I gotta do the General Izzy walk. Did y'all see coming to America when how how General Izzy walked in? But I gotta do mine slow, cause you know I I can't do the I'm I'm not dressed properly to do it the Wesley Snipes way. Did Wesley look good? I enjoyed seeing all the cast of Coming to America. Wesley, I ain't, I ain't seen Wesley in years, years, years on the big screen. I did see him one time in person and I have a book by Wesley Snipes that I got years ago and I was trying to get close to him so he could sign the book for me, but he got there kind of late and then by the time I saw him, he went real, real far, but he was too far. I couldn't just be like, Wesley, Wesley, but he was he was too far and then he was being escorted by i guess his entourage or bodyguards or something and he just you know i saw him like i i, I saw him i could see Devil wesley snipes but i couldn't even i couldn't even make him boo jank because he was so far anyway 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 i gotta do my walk one more time do y'all mind if i do my my izzy my general izzy walk with this outfit because that's how much i'm feeling it okay Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me get my music one more time. Hold on. I'm not going to do it the whole song. I promise. Let me just do the general easy walk, okay? All right. Come on, music. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Go ahead, go ahead. Play. Izzy. That was for General Izzy right there. That was for General Izzy. Woo! Yo! I am feeling, feeling, feeling this top. You know, I always try to bring you the look. This does come in a couple colors. It does come in a couple of styles. This one is my favorite. I don't know what took me so long to get it, y'all, because I have been looking at this for a minute. I have been digging on it for a minute, but I don't know. I just kind of drugged my feet on getting it. But I just went on one day and just clicked the button, and here we go, honey. What y'all think? What y'all mm, mm, mm. I'm in love with me today. Gabe. Y'all know Gabe is Invisible Boojank name. That's what Dre named him. Gabe, where you taking me? He said, why are you yelling? I'm standing right here. I'm sorry. Where are you taking me? 
He said, where, where is he taking me? Y'all supposed to put it in the comments. Where are we going? Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. For y'all start sending me dancing and all that. Mm -mm. Heels too high. They too high. They not These shoes not made for dance. I'm going to talk about the shoes in a minute. But this right here, baby, this is a, a deal for me. This is a deal for me. One of the things that I really, really, really like about it is the um, contrast of my skin tone popping on through these white little shimmy shanga holes joint doily. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, I, I don't mind if you get one. I don't mind. We're going to be fly together. And when I see you in the street, we're just going to do the easy, general easy walk right on down the sidewalk. We're just going to hit that easy. And I'm going to compliment you all the way. You can be a queen right with me. We ain't, we, listen, there's enough crowns for every single one of us to be a queen. This queen day, queen for a day. Um, Boo Jack, Michelle said, hey, hey. He said, how you doing? All right, y'all, let me talk about these pants. All right, so these pants that I am wearing tonight, they are the Mud Pie. I don't know why they're called that. I don't know why they're called Mud Pie, but that's the brand that I, I picked for my outfit tonight, the Mud Pie Women's Leather Leggings. Now, I stood up already to show you the top, but let me just stand up again to talk about the leggings, okay? <clears throat> All right, so these leggings, they say... Mud pie women's leather leggings. First of all, these are not leather. They are supposed to be a faux leather, okay? So they are kind of, um, I wouldn't say high-waisted. I would just say normal-waisted. They're right here. I have on a black camisole, so maybe you can't see the contrast as much. But they come up right to my belly button. They do have some detailing right here in the, in the stitching of the waistband. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, right there. That's the waistband. They have this shine on them like they are leather, but I would hardly call this a faux leather. They just got a little bit of shine on them. So I, I'm, a, I'm a tiny bit disappointed in these. I was expecting more of the, um, the feel, not of authentic leather, of course, but I was expecting more of a, you know, that, 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 I don't know what to call it, the faux leather feel. This just feels like material. This just feels like material. So it's not bad for a legging, not at all. It's not at all bad for a legging. Um, now, as I'm looking at the price on it right now, this is not the price that I paid for these leggings was showing right now on Amazon, but it's okay. Just shop the look. If you like the look, there are plenty of faux leather legging choices on Amazon. <clears throat> Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't call this a faux leather. I do like them. However, the faux leather part I would not uh, claim. I would not claim it as a faux leather. All right. Let me know if it's if it's breaking up and freezing, y'all, so I can try to fix that real quick. Okay. So um, they are not a dud for me. I would just change the wording just a tiny bit. Give me just one second, y'all, because I don't want the show to be breaking up and, and carrying on. Um, oh, oh, oh. All right, I don't think I can do it now. All right, so legging, yes. Faux leather legging, not so much, but I will keep these. These are not a dud. They are just not a, a, a leather pant now a leather um pant of course would command the price that is showing on amazon right now but as we know leather is not forgiving in terms of stretch in most cases these are very stretchy they're very comfortable they're a little shy on the ankle for me so let me back up one more time i'm not gonna cut the music on but let me am i back okay i think it's Mm, I hope it's, uh, it's the, I'm watching on my computer and I see that it's kind of coming in and out. I forgot to take it off my Wi-Fi and I don't know how to do that while I'm live and just let it be on LTE. Hopefully it will hold on for the long run. 
All right, so the leggings, they're a little bit short in the leg for me. Like, I wish it had a couple more inches, but it does not. I'll back up one more time so you can see where it stops on my leg. I am about five, seven and a half. I hope it stops freezing, y'all. I'm about five, seven and a half. So here's where it is on my ankle, where it comes down. So you see that it is not quite to my ankle. It's a little bit shy of the ankle. My ankle is right here under this second butterfly and the pants stops well above that, okay? So because of that reason, it's still not a dud. It's still not a dud for me, but because it comes up so high, I would recommend a accent shoe like I am wearing tonight okay so this is the one of the shoe let me take off the shoe that I have on and I'll show you the shoe that I am wearing I couldn't find this on Amazon I did not buy it from Amazon but it is an accent shoe but I recommend an accent a statement shoe to just bring it home on the end that goes around your ankle <clears throat> so this is the one that I am wearing tonight it has the clear straps with the butterfly rhinestone detailing. I love, love, love the look of these shoes. And I think it just, it, it finishes the outfit for me at the feet, especially with the pants being short, shorter than I'd like them to be. So if you are shopping the look, if you like the look, make some excellent shoe choices something that's just gonna bring some some drama to your ankle to show the shoe off because of the length of the pants now everybody is not my my height i understand that and maybe you don't need that but if you five seven or better maybe even five six or better and up um it might not do what it might not hit your ankle right and then to go ahead and dress the look up go on and pop that shoe i'm still gonna get me a pair of these fsjs y'all those shoes are so gorgeous they're just so gorgeous the fsjs all right uh how come i don't see that in the in the in the thing all right so if you click on those fsj brand shoes and just take a look at some of those unique styles i am going to order me some i haven't ordered them yet but i'm going to buy me some of those and i'm gonna bring them right to the show because those shoes are amazing i have a couple of shoe choices for you if you want to um again shop the look not maybe exactly but you know get get something at the ankle to to make up for the length of the pants okay so both of these shoe choices that i have you see that the fsj shoe has 42 uh ratings coming in at four and a half stars and the may best shoe that has the, the big bow on the side it has uh three and a half stars yeah, three and a half stars with 91. Thank you, Natasha. I'm, I'm going to talk about that makeup in a minute, girl, because I'll be in here just, just playing and practicing. And then, of course, if you want to bring some drama to your face, go on and pop on some frames. Mm. Y'all said something to me. What did y'all say? I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Can you say that again, please? What'd you say? You said I look nice. <laughs> thank you so much that's Gabe talking y'all don't have to compliment me that's Gabe whispering in my ear he said he loves this look y'all take my picture I wish I could take my picture myself while I'm doing this live I want to mm. dang my parents did a good job thank you mama thank you daddy mm, 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 mm. I don't know what they ate that night but they The lip color is lip bar, girl. Crown me. Mm. Mama, daddy. The Vogue me cat eye friend. I'm supposed to be telling y'all about these glasses, and I'm busy talking about how great I look. Listen, you got to be in love with yourself, queens. You got to be. We had a whole day of celebration yesterday. Y'all remember? Y'all remember it was International Women's Day, Women's International Day, International Women's Day, a day for celebrating women. If you a woman, honey. I celebrate you. 
I celebrate you. Now, that's not to say you got to look like this every day to celebrate yourself because you sure don't. You can celebrate yourself in a t-shirt and no makeup and a pair of, of hunched up shorts. Y'all know what hunched up mean. I know you do. Put on your hunched up shorts and you still just as wonderful and fabulous even in that. You don't stop being a queen just because you took your clothes and makeup off. Who told you that? All right, Jay. All right, Jay. Celebrate you as well. You can be a queen every day. You ain't got to be dressed up and had a purple lips and a... Mm. Y'all just don't know how bad I want to take my picture after this live. I'm going to play the live just to get me some shots of myself. Let me do a photo shoot. Hold on. Where my music at? Let me do a photo shoot right quick. I got to I gotta get me some poses in so when the live is over... enough i'm gonna take my picture where can you get the lip color it is in the carousel gloria this is lip bar the lip bar brand is vegan and animal animal cruelty free um it's probably at the end of the carousel because i hadn't intended on talking about the lip gloss i was gonna talk about these eyes give me a minute i'm gonna tell you about the the eyes in a minute all right but it is in the carousel towards the end all right, Jay, you have to tell me some ways that you celebrate yourself too. Give me some, some tips, some pointers. All right, so my jewelry, as I always share with you, um, I have some, um, some Shop the Look pieces. These are David Yerman pieces, and I can't find David Yerman on Amazon, um, but I found some look-alike pieces for you if you like the look of the David Yerman jewelry, this cable style, the twisted cable. Listen, shop the look, honey. Who's going to know? Nobody's going to know. How will they know? Who's going to know? All right, moving on. That is the jewelry. Y'all, look what I got today. I'm so excited to have received this, Queens. Look. Look what I received today, my queen of everything mug. <sighs> queen of everything, every day, every day. I love this mug. It is a 12 ounce mug. It's a little bit smaller than I anticipated. So when I opened it up, I took it in the kitchen and I poured, put some water in it and then I poured the water in a measuring cup. It says on the listing that it is the bar says unavailable that's in the carousel i'm sorry wondering um you know people people buy stuff and things sell out but if you um look up lip bar on amazon i'm sure you can find some of their products okay so the particular one that i picked for the carousel those are gone um but still just wondering if you just search it in amazon i'm sure you'll be able to find some are those magnetic lashes oh my gosh Natasha, I'm going to tell you about the lashes. Let me let me talk about the mug first, okay? I'm going to tell you about the lashes because me and these lashes, we be struggling. Okay, so, y'all, I ordered this. It took a while for it to get to me. I was disappointed with that, but it did indeed come. I'm going to say maybe I ordered it about three weeks ago. So it took about three weeks. Not too, too long. Y'all know Amazon Prime got us spoiled. We feel like as soon as we hit the, the pay key, place my order key, it's supposed to show up to the door in five minutes. That's how I feel. Do y'all feel like that or is that just me? I feel like, okay, I placed my order five minutes ago. Is that? That ain't them. Dang. Somebody walked past the ring doorbell. You know how ring, if you have a ring doorbell, you know it makes that chiming noise. Ding, ling, 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 ling. Let you know somebody went past your door. That oh, that's a little boy taking out the trash. Ding, ling, ling. That ain't Amazon either. They be making me wait. I had to wait for this one, but it's okay. It came today. Oh, I was telling you that I took it in the kitchen. I put water in it and I poured it in a measuring cup. To me, it, it measured at 11 ounces, but the listing says 12 ounces. I thought it was kind of small, you know, and just looking at it, but it did at least, and I didn't fill it up to the tippy, 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 tippy top. 
maybe that is where the 12 ounce mark was um, for the listing but I do like it and look at this it came with this little spoon for you to stir your little tea you know like that this isn't this this is a little top like that okay that's not inside the mug and you can sit your spoon right there like that and then this comes off like that mmm then you can sip like that y'all know y'all need one of these go go and get your glass I know you don't have it right now but go and get your glass so we can clink glasses y'all ready one two three there you go yes I celebrate you do it again one two three all right I should have got everybody that time so the little um the little crown thing this is a little crown and what i saw on the listing that i thought was very cute look what you can use the crown for you can take your phone and sit it right up in there uh oh i guess you can't that's what they had in the listing yeah sit it right up in there like that that's my grandson my executive producer grandson when he was about three years old he ate now but i won't get rid of the picture but you can sit it in there like that mm-hmm and watch stuff video do amazon live whatever you're gonna do i i'm here for it y'all as the young people be saying i'm here for it i'm here for the queen of everything mug i'm the queen of everything up in this house if i'm not queen of everything in the whole wide world i'm queen of everything up in this house thank you r r r triple r for following all right so if you listen if you queen Go on and get you a queen of everything. I roll everything up in here. Everything. Everything, honey. Don't nothing get past me. Don't nothing come in the door or go out the back without me knowing about it. Queen of everything. Yes. This right here is a deal for me. So let's get into this makeup, Natasha. Natasha, were you asking about the lashes or somebody says, oh, nobody said anything about my eyeshadow. Let me talk about it, honey. So... I, I, don't, I don't know what I be doing when I'm putting on makeup. Like, I just started, like, trying to deal with makeup when I started doing these lives. But I found this brand of eyeshadows that I have fallen in love with. It is the Juvia, Juvia brand. This is the Warriors 3 by Juvia. So, apparently, Juvia by Juvia's apostrophe S. Um, apparently Juvia's all of their color palettes are titled differently so you can see that one says the warrior so this is the warrior 3 I mean and then the warrior 2 okay and then I have another one the festival let me start with the festival by Juvia because this was my first one I got it the other day um, it happened to come when I when the same day that coming to America well I thought it came out on Friday but I saw some people commenting on Thursday night that they had already watched it but I watched it on Friday and while I was watching the movie I was doing my face just like that y'all it's on my on my profile on my page here on Amazon if you want to see it I really don't know how to put makeup on, but the colors were so vibrant and so pretty. I got makeup everywhere. This is how you know I don't know what I'm doing. Look at that. Look at that powder everywhere. But I took these colors that were in this palette and did my face like that. I did halfway and the white and the and all of that. You couldn't tell me nothing. I was ready for the movie. I was ready to... Hey, hey. I need my little rag. Hold on. That was my favorite dance in the movie. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, 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 hey. And then my other favorite part when they was dancing. I don't know. I like I really liked the movie. When Eddie Murphy had stood up and he was doing his dance like that. Not Eddie Murphy. Uh King or King. I forgot what they were singing. And he had stood up and he was getting with him. I enjoyed the movie. I don't know how y'all felt about it, but I enjoyed it. Wesley, I enjoyed just the whole thing the the glamour the singing the bringing back the nostalgic part of it and introducing the new pieces of it, it was piece, people in there like i don't know who rick ross is but the person i was watching with they said oh they go rick ross and then uh some other people that the um wesley snipes daughter what's her name tiana 
Taylor or something, something like that. I don't know her. I, ain't, I didn't know, but I did recognize them old heads. Anyway, back to my makeup, back to my makeup. <clears throat> so this, y'all, very vibrant colors. This is Warrior 3. This is this purple that I have on. It came out of there. Look at those brilliant colors, y'all. Look at them. They're so pretty. Now, normally when I do eyeshadows, I just kind of go with the browns and the, you know, a little bit of copper, a little bit of shimmery tan, but I want to add some color and some, some spice and stuff. So I love these. This particular one has 82 reviews and it comes in at four and a half stars. Look at that. I'm gonna do that. Next time I have a little bit of time on my hand, I'm going to do my face just like that. I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to put it on the live, okay? And then the second one that I got, the Warrior 2 eyeshadow. And that one, is, I guess it's supposed to be more earthy tones. But again, these colors are very vibrant. And so I have on some purple from the Warrior 3. And then I put on a little bit of Zazz. That's what this color is called and here a little bit of this zazz color from the warrior 2 again i'm not a makeup artist so i was just blending it up and trying stuff and all of that but i am just loving these colors i am loving the packaging even the artistry of the packaging and the um whole african feel of it okay so this one has nine this one has nine the festival has nine they make other palettes with other names that um have different colors and it says inspired this one this says the amazons how fitting inspired by the ferocious and decapitating beauty of the dahomey amazons of africa who defied social societal norms to protect their people a true embodiment of strength fierceness and beauty hey hey i don't have any experience michelle i just be let me see let me mm, dang that's that's what goes on in here okay so those are my makeup colors for tonight the lashes i took them out of here because i didn't intend to talk about them but these are the vaselli lashes it is a set of five it is in the carousel it's just towards the end the Vaselli, self, um, they're not self-adhesive, but they're adhesive, but not a glue. They're not glue, Natasha, and they're not magnetic. So they have what's called a quote-unquote magic eyeliner. And you put the eyeliner on and it, it's, it becomes sticky. And then you stick the lash to the eyeliner. And this is it. Now, I was struggling with it for a little while trying to put them on. Not today, but previous times because I couldn't make it stick right. And I don't know if it's because... I had too much eyeshadow on top of it. I did something wrong. But today, I put two coats of the eyeliner and stuck the lash right on in there. Now, this particular set that I have in the carousel for you, it has five sets of lashes, and these are the most dramatic pair. These are the most, the, the longest and the most dramatic. I'm trying to get up against that white so you can kind of see the length of it. If I do this, you can see that it, it touches, my, touches my eyebrow. Okay. Now, when I first started wearing lashes at the beginning of the year, I was like, I don't need all that. I don't need to stop touching my eyebrow and all of that. Daniel, I'm going to show you the cordless jump rope. It's coming up. You're going to love it. I got to take my shoes off, though, so I can show you how it works. But the lashes, um, I do like them. I do like them, the five pair. So if you don't want the dramatic look, you just want something a little more simple, you go into a business meeting or into the office and, you know, it's frowned upon for you to be so beautiful in there because, you know, sometimes people, they, they can't take all your beauty and your radiance. They want you to bring it down a little bit. And, you know, just because you bring it down on the outside, you can be all the way turned up on the inside. So that's okay. I'm going to take the lashes off. I'm still just as amazing and talented as beautiful. But you got five pairs to choose from. And it also comes with a clear. One of the eyeliners is black. The other one is clear. So if you don't want the dark around your eyes, you can use a transparent eyeliner. And boom, there you go. Okay, moving on, because Daniel, I'm going to tell you what that cordless jump rope is. I got it sitting right here. But before I tell you that, y'all, I did get in the weighted, high-waisted, weighted leggings. So here is what 
the leggings look like first of all let me let me start right here it comes with uh 12 of these little silicone silicone um sam maintaining a bundle of six a day to just okay um it comes with six of 12 12 of these right here and these are actual weights and so each one of these weighs um a quarter of a pound and you see it has challenge there that's the name of the pants challenge and the pants have pockets down the leg down both legs and you put these in the pockets down the leg and it makes the pants weigh three pounds here's what the pants look like i'll have to back up just a little bit this is what the pants look like and I do still have the weights in the pocket because I wore them yesterday when I went on my walk. So they are nice and weighted. They are nice and weighted and I was really feeling like three pounds. I mean, come on, give me something a little bit more challenging. And um, But it's enough. It's actually enough. So here's the pockets here. Here's one of the pockets. Here's one of the pockets here. Um, Daniel, you don't need to, but you should. And you just stick the the weight and it's kind of wrapped in silicone i think this is silicone you put the weight in the pocket and the weights go all the way down you can see several pockets all the way to the ankle and again the name of the pants the weight is in there and then your pants are weighted so i put these on last night and i went for a walk first i put them on and then i had to go upstairs to get my shoes and on my way up the stairs, it didn't kill me, of course, but I certainly could feel the difference that I was carrying this weight in my legs. And then I went for my walk and it felt pretty good. I put them on today and just kind of ran my errands and everything. This is a deal for me. I am liking these pants. Oh, I know, I know that he's talking about the jump rope. I'm coming to the jump rope. I'm coming to the jump rope, Daniel. But I like these pants are a deal for me. Now, with these pants, imagine you got on those extra three pounds and then you get the cordless jump rope. So here's the cordless jump rope, Daniel, right here. It looks like this. And it has, first, here's the rope. I've never taken the rope a loose. I bought this, but I've never taken the rope a loose because I'm not good at jump roping anymore. I used to could jump rope with the best, not with the best of them. I've never been able to double dutch, but this is the rope. And then these are the handles. These are the handles for the jump rope. However, it also comes with this little piece right here. I'm just going to take this one off for you, Daniel, so you can see it comes with this piece right here so if you are like me and you're not good at jump roping anymore you put this on the handle rather than the rope and you still have the weight like you're still turning a rope but you don't have to worry about messing up because you know after i get about 10 good good jumps in then i'm gonna start hitting myself in the leg and this is how you put it put it together so you it has these two holes there you feed it through the hole, feed it through the hole like that, pull it on through, and then you feed it back through that other hole like that. That's the jump rope beeping. I'll tell you about that in just a second. You feed it back through the other hole and then it holds this in place. If you're using this part of it or it holds the actual rope in place. Now this one, it is, um, it does have a display on it to tell you how many times you actually jump, quote unquote jump. So you were asking Daniel, do you need to jump? um for for your cardio i would say you you need to but you don't have to you can just turn the rope if you want to if i if i just do like this it's gonna start counting but why cheat yourself i done bought the bought the weighted pants and so this is me jump roping hold on this is me jump roping all right so now i don't have to worry about missing steps i'm good at it like this I can do all kinds of stuff without having that rope on the bottom. If I had that rope on the bottom, I would not have been able to. Y'all would have seen me stop about three times, okay? So, you know, sometimes you want to turn some music on and do all that fancy turning and 
cross your arms and uncross and switch and switch and all of that. I can't do that with the real rope. And then, you know, this stuff be feeling like you getting a whooping when you, when you miss and you turn it and then it hit your ankle or your leg. I don't know if y'all got whoopings when y'all was growing up. I got a few of them. I ain't like to get hit on by my parents, you know. So I, I, I try not to do stuff. I try not to get in trouble. Because who wants... My brother and sister, they liked whoopings. They, they liked... They stayed in trouble, seemed like. I ain't like it. But I remember what it feel like. This be feeling like a whooping, cutting up on... Mm -mm. I'm not doing that. Then I get discouraged. I'm just ready to, to, to stop jumping altogether. And the benefit of these, if you're really good at jump roping, but the benefit of these, you can do this in the house. You don't have to worry about hitting the ceiling and, you know, the ceiling messing you up. If you have average ceilings or even low ceilings, you can twirl this in your hand. And you can keep your, your exercise going and uh, get your cardio in, your exercise in. You, you don't have to miss a beat. Now, in my mind, I can jump rope real good. With a rope, I mean, I can... In my mind, I can double dutch. But in, in real life, I, I can't. I've just never been able to double dutch. Like, I don't know why I ain't get that skill. It seems simple enough. But I can't do it. So when they make a, um, when they make the the ropeless double dutch ropes, I probably get me some of those too, so I can tear it up. <laughs> yeah. So this is one of my um, exercises. I told y'all we be in queen for a day. You know you got to take care of your body. We had already got the face all together and the jewelry and the clothes, but we know that that don't really mean nothing. All of those are material things. The things that we really need to be taking care of is our body and our minds. Those are the things that are really valuable. This helps me to do that without me having to miss steps. So that is the weighted jump rope. I have one in the carousel for you. This is the one that I have. I just prefer the, the black and gray over the pink and white. I didn't care for the pink and white color. This one does it for me right here, okay? Um, again, as you turn the rope, um, it keeps time for you. It, I mean, it keeps turns. It keeps turns for you. It keeps something else. Y'all see those four numbers? Let me see. I lost the little, the little booklet that came with it. And it comes in this little travel bag, or the travel bag comes with it. So if you have to travel and you need to pack it put all the components in the little bag and going about your business you be in your hotel room you don't want to go down there to the to the to the indoor workout room because it's germy they didn't really clean it like they're supposed to but you still need to get your workout in you can turn your little ropes right in your room all right so these for me are a deal with those weighted uh weighted leggings I can get a little bit more in, a little bit more in inside the house. All right, moving on. I do want to show you because we're being queen of the day. Kings, y'all can y'all can treat yourselves too. You're welcome, Daniel. My pleasure. Um, facial steamer. I do want to show you this facial steamer. I have shown it on the live before, but when you're treating yourself well, here is an item that you can get for you to get just some escape, some escapism. You know, uh, sometimes we have things going on in our lives that we just need a temporary escape from. Y'all remember the commercial, Calgon, take me away. Or are y'all too young? Am I telling my age? Maybe I am. I already told y'all that I appreciated some of the, the old school. My name is Peaches and I'm the best. You know that. Now Gladys Knight, she a little bit too old for me. That's that's my mom and daddy. That's their that's their groove. But anyway, sometimes you just need to escape. This right here is amazing for your face. It has 142 reviews coming in at four and a half stars. Right now it's 28% off at the time of this live. It's 28% off. So it has the water reservoir right here on the back right there i'm gonna take it off for you so you can see what it looks like this is the water reservoir and you just take the little top off the little i don't know why i start started saying little where i get that from the little top off and then you take some water i already got some water for y'all see i'm prepared today because i know how to produce this show by myself 
You pour the water right in that little reservoir. Mm -hmm, just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm looking for a max fill line. I don't see one, so I suppose you can fill it all the way up. I have used it before, but I didn't pay attention to that. And then you screw the little top back on like that. Uh-huh. Then you pop it back, pop it on in the back. Like that. And it's good to go. You press the button on the front, and it only takes um about 30 to 60 seconds for it to begin to produce steam. So I hear it, I hear it cooking. Or is that just me shaking it? All right, so it should be producing steam in just a few minutes along with the steamer. It comes with some tools for you to, um, I don't know, esthetician your face. You like it, Jeff? Jeff, I'm, I got some questions for you. Now, this is the part that I'm not good at, Jeff. It comes with these four things right here. I don't know what to do with these. So I've never used these. It's still over there warming up. I've never used these because I don't, I don't know what you're supposed to do with them, and they look, they look dangerous to me. But I guess if you know what you're doing and and all of that, then you can get down with it. Now this right here, this piece right here, this looks like to me what the dentist used to clean my teeth with, what the dental hygienist hygienist used to. Mm, I don't, uh, I'm not going to be using this. I'm not going to be using this. All right, and then this one right here, it looked like a super sharp pencil pen. I'm asking you for your help, uh, Jeff, because I who finna poke a hole in their face? Not me. And, 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 and I think, I think this right here, this is super sharp too. This is a silver one. This one is rose gold all the way through but it comes with these four pieces I, I have to take a class or something to figure out what to do with it and then it comes with this right here you're supposed to press over your blackheads or something i don't know i don't know what to do with it i thankfully i don't suffer from blackheads not that i know about here go to uh here's a steamer so it produces this steam like that and you hold your face about a about a foot or so away like that Y'all finna see my makeup melt right on off my face. And I'm still gonna be a queen. Don't talk about me. I'm still gonna be beautiful for pimples and blackheads. Thank you, Sheena. So you do that right there. And then the steam comes on up. Now you can't put anything in it. I think if I was able to, I would add some peppermint oil in it. But in the instructions, it says don't add anything. Just the water. Steam your face for a few minutes. Open up your pores and... And then, I guess, if you know what you're doing, if you know what you're doing, you use you use them. Mm -mm, I'm not going to do it. Don't do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, girl. I ain't even thinking about it. Mm-mm. Because I'd be the... No. But if you know what you're doing with these right here, it comes along with the little steamer. It produces a nice little amount of steam. Look at it. You probably can iron your clothes right there and knock some wrinkles out your clothes with this. So a little mini escape for you right here. Go ahead and be queen for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off and move on to my next item. So that is a deal for me. That's a deal for me. My next item, y'all, y'all know I love me a good sugar scrub or salt scrub some kind of scrub because my skin is very dry like if y'all see me some days y'all be like what in the world they don't they don't make lotion where you live that's what y'all would be asking me they don't, the store was all out because my skin be white it just be anyway so I need, oop, oop, I need this kind of stuff right here this is the the lemon blueberry tart uh shea sugar scrub this smells amazing now i already love scrubs and all of that because they feel so amazing on your skin and this is again queen for a day get you some some scrub 
to scrub on your skin and exfoliate, get my dry skin gone and smell like lemon and blueberry. Look at Gabe's face. Look at him. We grow. Gabe, stop showing out. He said he gonna behave. Hi, Anon. Thank you for following. But this right here, the Lemon Blueberry Tart Chase Sugar Scrub. Let me show you the consistency if you're not familiar with the Tree Hut products. This is the consistency of this product. Let me just dip a little bit out, y'all. This sugar feels good just even on my fingertips. And it smells fantastic. So you're in the shower and you rub it on your skin like that. Mm-hmm. I can feel that oil and that uh, exfoliating of this sugar. Now, I didn't think this all the way through because I don't have no extra water. I poured all the water into the, into the thing. Why y'all let me do that? <sighs> smell this gay. It smell good, don't it? He like it. He tried to bite me just now. He know better than that while we on camera. Behave yourself, okay? He said, all right. All right, so let me get this napkin right here. So this right here, y'all, I'm, I'm just a sucker for sugar scrubs. This has 4,000 reviews coming in at four and a half stars. And Tree Hut makes a variety, a wide variety of different scents, different combinations, all of that. I have some of their other products. This is my newest one. I'm in love. It's for me. My skin loves it. It helped me to, to not be so ashy all the time. I, I shouldn't be ashy all the time. Ashy all the time. Every time I get out the tub, if I, don't, if I don't moisturize and exfoliate and stuff, it's a whole problem. Yes, they do, Sequoia. All right, so that is that. I, I really need to rinse this off, but look at, it, look at that shine on my hand. Look at this hand. This hand looking kind of dry. Look at this hand. Y'all see the difference? Y'all see that? All right. He can't help it, Michelle. He loved him some me. All right, so that is um, a deal for me. All of the Tree Hut products have been a deal for me, and that one is included. Now, the other thing that I love, other beauty product that I love, is this CSM Complete Skin Makeover Body Brush. Now, I don't feel like I have no complete skin makeover because um, some stuff... You know, after I brush my skin, those blemishes and, and baby marks and baby lines, they still be there. But, you know, for what this is supposed to do, this is supposed to flush your lymphatic system, improve circulation, reduces cellulite. I don't know about that part. Reveals glowing skin, removes toxins, is what the skin brushing is supposed to do. So if you've never heard of dry skin brushing, I like this one because it has a little handle that goes around the back of your hand. If you like, uh, if you have ever heard of skin brushing, you start with the bottom of your feet and you brush the bottom of your feet and then you brush on up your body towards your heart and it is supposed to improve circulation. Now this has a little massage uh, nodules in it and so this feels good to get your skin. I have another one like this. I just opened up this one today. I do replace them from time to time because after a while, you know, you just need to throw stuff out. Just like you do with your washcloth, not your wash rag. We talked about this. We talked about this. We don't wash with a wash rag. You a queen. You don't wash with a rag, okay? The rag is for the car and for the kitchen floor. Take the oath. I will not wash with the wash rag anymore after today. All right? Say it. I ain't hear you. You just looking at me. I said, say it. I will not wash with a wash rag anymore after today. Very good. Use a washcloth, okay? Not a wash rag. Rags is for cars and for floors and for oil, mechanics. That's what the rag is for. Okay, all right, I'm back. I'm back. This right here feels super good as you are uh, rubbing your skin. Um, again, I, I can't say nothing about cellulite. I still got some. Right now I do. Last time I checked, I did. Maybe some of it gone. I'm going to look. I'm going to look after the show and see if some of it is missing. I still have baby stripes from, you know, that, that is proof 
that some baby, at least one baby at some time resided in my in my body. I still got the they don't, they don't do nothing for that right there. But in terms of my other skin and circulation and lymphatic system and all of that, I do like this to help keep my skin not so ashy and gray, looking like I'm about to crack all the time, especially in the winter time. I'm so thankful spring is coming up. So, you know, my skin can absorb some moisture. Now Y'all, I recently went to Florida a couple weeks ago, and I noticed while I was in Florida, I didn't have any dry skin problems, none, none at all. My skin was all moisturized and hydrated. I didn't go to the beach or none of that. I guess just the moisture in the air just had me just, I'm not moving there though. Mm -mm. Hurricanes like to come through there too much. All right, so moving on, ladies, look. They work good for a deep moisture treatment. I'm I'm here for all of that. All of that. Because I'm telling you, I be looking like flower. All right. So, y'all, the Yoni Steam. The Yoni Steam. Y'all ever did a Yoni Steam? I got the Yoni Steam pack right here. We, we have to take care of all of our body, all of it. We just can't take care of our skin and we're not taking care of other stuff. And we got the makeup on and makeup looking flawless and beautiful and all of that. And we're not taking care of other things. Gentlemen, y'all can listen. But if you want to plug your ears, you can plug your ears if you want to. So the Yoni Steaming, these are the, the herbs. Yoni Steaming Herbs, 100% organic. Discover the secret to a healthy cycle. This is ancient wisdom for women's wellness. This has 744 reviews at the time of this uh, recording, coming in at four and a half stars. All right, so it says our health and well being is rooted in the wisdom of women. Yoni Steaming, also known as vaginal steaming, provides gentle and effective support for women's reproductive health, known to promote a healthy cycle. This powerful ancient remedy is used by women across the globe to soothe and revitalize the female system. Unlock the secret to a more pleasant menstrual cycle with the Vibrant Souls Debbie Steam. Now, I don't think it is limited to just uh, menstrual cycle concerns, but what the people have said is, it do some other stuff too. Y'all see Boo Jank? It do some other stuff too. Now, this this is just me. Y'all know how we, we be wanting to punch Eve in the face. I done heard a whole lot of women. Hey, Dawn. I have heard a whole lot of women say when they get to heaven and they see Eve, they, it's a whole lot of y'all promise to gang up on her. Now, me personally, I have never experienced menstrual um, troubles. Never. Never had cramps. Never had, you know, any of of that maybe i had some mood swings and didn't know it or something like that but you know all the pain and and things that other women have experienced i did not have any of that never have from you know the time that i became of age and all of that it's just never bothered me it's never bothered me so i i'm not gonna jump eve for that she not gonna i i i, I am probably gonna try to I'm not going to punch her in the face because I don't want to get kicked out of heaven. But I might try to trip her or something like that because these hot flashes. Somebody, I'm, I'm at least going to talk to her. Uh, Y'all might beat her up, but I'm at least going to talk to her about that. All right, so these right here, they um, do, do the research that makes you comfortable. Girl, I did not, I did not um, experience that sequoia. I don't know. I have no idea. It's hard for me to to sympathize. Like when someone is saying, oh, I'm in so much pain in regards to, you know, their cycle. I don't have anything to relate it to. Mine never bothered me. But them hot flashes, just hot for no reason. Just no, just sitting here. Mind your business. You're not even moving. You're just looking straight like this. And just get hot. What in the world? Okay, anyway, do your research to the 
to the degree that you are comfortable with your body and how this may affect you, I want you to know that I am no kind of doctor. I'm not an OBGYN. I am not a mental health. I'm not a general practitioner. I don't know none of that. I'd be struggling putting on a Band-Aid. So make sure that you ask whatever questions are appropriate for you and your body and what you feel comfortable doing. But what you do with this, you simmer it in some two quarts of water and you take a heaping cup of these herbs and you let it steam for 10 minutes and then you're supposed to pour the liquid into a basin or something for you to sit on and let the steam, let your body absorb the steam from the herbs, okay? Now, do your research on this, but you're a queen. You're a queen for the day, and we should do queenly things if it's not going to irritate us and all of that. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Now, along with that, you need something to put it in so you're not standing over a pot in your kitchen over the stove, right? So I did pick up this along with it to do the steam with. So this is the Yunga Tarts Seats Bath. It fits right over the toilet. I uh, sat it on my toilet to make sure that it was going to fit and it fit perfectly. And so you're able to pour your, your steam water in the little bowl here. And then you sit, well, you sit this on the toilet and then you pour the steam water in this little bowl and then you can sit on this instead of, I don't know, I know that um, people have done this, you know, practice before these came along. I don't know what they sat on or what have you, but this was enough for me. All right, so sit this over the toilet, put it over the toilet, put your water and your herbs and stuff in there after you have steamed them and they have had an opportunity to cool down so you don't suffer from steam burns and then you sit there you cover yourself up and let all let your body just absorb the steam in order to get the benefit of the herbs um this has 1200 over 1200 reviews coming in at four and a half stars if you want to be a little bit more fancy with it you can go ahead and get the little um pot steaming pot that's in the carousel right now. It does have 93 stars at four and a half, uh, average of four and a half stars. I don't own that particular product. Hey, we queens today. We queens, Mel. We queens, Honeybee Chronicle, Melissa. We queens today. We celebrating all things women and treating ourselves, our bodies, our minds, all of that. All right. So, um, if you want something that's 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 not this right here then you can get your own little pot thing and you put your 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 steamy stuff in there and have you a little seat and you know make a make a sanctuary for yourself for yourself and to yourself and sit on your little pot read your book have you a sip of tea or whatever it is you're going to do maybe you want to watch TV or or read something inspirational i don't know what you're doing in your private time meditate pray I don't know. It's up to you. You're a queen for the day. You're not being disturbed. You're not being disturbed. You're doing good things for your body so that you can be well-rounded and healthy. All right? So if you don't want the little toilet thing, get your little steam thing. Shut your room door or your sanctuary door. Go in your war room or wherever space you have dedicated for yourself, at least for that time. And have yourself a nice little time. Let me see how long you're supposed to sit on these. You sit on it for mm, 20 to 40 minutes. So 20 to 40 minutes of some quality you time. Now, if you, now you're supposed to cover your waist up with something so that the steam doesn't escape all around you. So I've included in the carousel the Yoni Steam Gown. As you can see in the carousel, it is a long garment. I do not own one of these, but it is a long garment. You can wear it from around your neck or you can wear it, you know, right here like a towel around your chest and you sit the sit the um, entire dress over your steam situation so that you are not losing steam. Now, this is probably best fitted for the little pink uh, stool situation. It's probably best fitted for that 
because it can go all the way around into the floor all right if you if you're using the little seat toilet seat thing then of course you want to be conscious of your space around you around the toilet and all that you don't want it falling in and you know all of that but we grown we know how to manage those things but you know get you the little gown that way you don't have to worry about your towel being too loose or too big or not covering or steam is escaping and you can benefit from all of the steams from the herbs so of course if you are doing some kind of yoni steam or what have you we know that you should really be in a in a place where you are not being bothered by other people not any boo jank any children any of that you should really be in a place by yourself where you can um, just spend some quality time with yourself so you might want to grab you some ear pods i had mine somewhere they gone now but we know what they look like the um i do have a pair of apple ear pods that i just recently got these are 25 percent off at the time of this live so you can get them for 119 dollars 99 so that you can put something in your ears maybe you want to record yourself um, doing affirmations and listen to that. Maybe you want to listen to your favorite motivational speaker. If you read the Bible or listen to the Bible, maybe you want that in your ear, some positive affirmations, whatever your choice, some, some calming music, whatever your choice is. Maybe you want to steam and watch TikTok. I don't know, but you know, you can put that right on in your ears. Now, one thing that I used to do I would record myself saying my affirmations and then I would play that back to myself so I could hear myself talking to myself. Ain't that powerful? I just got my phone and recorded like a bunch of statements and then I would play it back to myself. All right, where is that hairline? What hairline? Where is my hairline? You trying to be funny, Matt? You trying to say I don't have a hairline? You trying to call me bald head? Is that what you're saying to me? You call it? I'm, I'm not even offended. I'm not even offended. I mean, you know, I like my haircut and I'm, boy, you can't even knock me off with that little comment right there because I'm still fine and fly. Maybe you're not calling me bald head at all. My hair alarm, what you, what are you talking to me? Anyway, Apple AirPods, go ahead and listen to yourself. Repeat your affirmations to yourself to build up and edify your inner man, Okay. You have one, you use it in your bathroom while you're reading your book, listen to music. Very nice. Um, yeah, give us some give us some feedback on the little on the little stool situation. I might need to upgrade from from the little seat thing that I have. All right, so the power of purpose, I put that in the carousel because if you need like just something that's motivating and 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 all of that, I recommend this listen. I would say read, but I recommend this this book, excuse me, to listen to. Not just if you're, you know, in the privacy of your steaming session, but just at any time. The power of purpose by Les Brown. How to create the life and the life you always want it. I can't read that type. Okay, so normally $42.95. Right now you can get it for zero. I don't know the 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 uh criteria for you to get it at no cost, but go ahead and click on it and explore it. Even if you have to pay a little bit of money for it, it is a worthy listen. <coughs> it is a worthy listen. It's one of my favorite things to listen to when I'm trying to get through my little exercise session or you know maybe I'm a little stuck in what I'm doing he's just amazing he's an amazing amazing speaker and some several years ago I actually met Les Brown I was at um I want to say I was at somebody's wedding was it a wedding or may, or maybe it was at the end of, at somebody's repast somebody had passed away I think it was at a repast and um for some reason he was there and i mean it wasn't it wasn't a celebrity or anything it was like somebody a family member or something extended family member and he was there like at the repass and he was just kind of sitting there and he had we had started talking just very 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 lightly started talking and he said oh, i'm doing a seminar on you know tomorrow at such and such o'clock and i was like oh, okay well what is it about because i didn't know who he was and he said just go on the website and look it up it was something that was very um, brush brush off, and I got turned off by that. 
I didn't know it was Les Brown. He probably was tired. You know, he's a celebrity. He's a motivational speaker, well-known, all of that. Didn't recognize it. Didn't, didn't know who he was. Got turned off by him just saying, just go look it up on the website. Then I found out later, Les Brown used to be married to Gladys Knight. Les Brown. I was like right beside him, talking to him. Les Brown didn't know who he was. Then I saw him several years after that. Of course, I didn't bring that situation up, but I knew who he was. Then I took my picture with him and got his autograph and all of that. It was great. Anyway, super motivational. Go ahead and, and grab a copy of that or any of his work. He's phenomenal. So we have talked about uh, makeup and clothing and you know yoni steam and face steam and all of that let's talk about some good old food y'all let's talk about some good old food so i picked up this book right here hold on let me get it for you because it's right here it's right here it's right here i picked up this book good and cheap eat well on four dollars a day good and cheap because I am trying to do better by my body um, in terms of what I put in it. I just got to, it's just that time. It's that time for me to do better. And y'all know sometimes we take better care of our cars than we do our physical, our physical bodies. We do. I'm gonna prove it to you, you wanna prove it to you because you don't believe me. When you go to the gas station, right? When you go to the gas station to put gas in your car, do you put in the, the diesel thing? Do you put in, do you pick up that green diesel nozzle and put that in your car? No, you do not. Because you know that don't go in your car. You know that's not good for your car. You know that's going to cause your car some troubles, right? But I'm going to talk about me. I'm not, I'm not talking about you. But me, I'm quick to eat a piece of cake. No, I got sugar in it. I'm quick to eat something that got salt in it. No, I don't need that salt. So sometimes we treat our cars, y'all better than we treat our body we treat the the carpet cleaner the carpet cleaner say use only water and use only a cup of uh, a half a ounce of bleach in it that's exactly what we do but what are we doing to preserve our body okay i'm off of that i'm off of that soapbox but i got this book right here because first of all i love whole foods it's one right up the street from my house not even a five minute drive and i stay up in there they ought to know me by first name all the time I go in there, but I want to learn how to make meals that are good and not not so much cheap. <clears throat> um, yeah, Michelle, we got to get that together. I got to get it together. It doesn't necessarily have to be cheap, but this one says four dollars a day. So you buy some staples, right? Your your regular staples, and then you cook these meals in here, and the meals look for this the the um. The cookbook looks phenomenal. The meals in here look phenomenal. So it's like a regular cookbook. It tells you what to, what to do and what to buy and how to cook it and all of that. But the meals are supposed to be like $4 a day. So I'm trying to do better. One of the things that I am stopping, I am no longer, I won't say no longer, but I have decided to stop eating meat. Now, I'm probably not fully, fully transitioned, and I don't mean that I'm a vegetarian or I'm a vegan. That's not what I'm saying. I just think that meat um, disturbs my body in a way that I don't want to deal with anymore. I don't want to deal with it anymore, and I think that meat is a culprit, and so I don't want to eat it so much. So I have gone like, let me see, it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, two days, two meatless days. And then I think I did about three last week. So I will eat some meat, but I don't have to have it every day. So I'm learning how to cook some things without using so much meat. And they have some great recipes in this book in order for me to do that. Now, there are some recipes in here that do require meat and they look fantastic. I'll eat that on the, on the days that, um you know, that I feel like eating meat that day or I give myself a meat pass. But there are some other things in here that I do want to try that um, look, they look pretty delicious. I'm about the flavor. I'm about the flavor. I don't have to have any meat. Eight days with no meat. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that with me so I can be inspired to, you know, cut out. I, I done gave up Chick-fil-A. Y'all know I'm doing big things if, 
I'm not gonna eat no Chick Fil A. What's going on in the world? When I, mm, 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 mm. I just have to do better. So one of the tools that I've got for myself is this rotary cheese grater chopper blender thing. Look what I got, y'all. First, let me show y'all this. This is what I bought myself today. I ain't never cooked one of these before. Never sliced it. Never bought one before. But I, 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 I had some eggplant parmesan from Whole Foods about three weeks ago, and it was so delicious. It was so delicious. I said I was gonna make some. I smell that green right up in here. So I went today, and I bought myself an eggplant. I don't know what to do with it exactly. I'm going to watch some videos and stuff so I can make some eggplant parmesan. I'm looking forward to this. So let me get back to my to my meal. I got my cookbook. I got my eggplant parmesan. I'm going to make me some eggplant lasagna. I mean, I got my eggplant, not eggplant parmesan, but I got my eggplant. I'm going to see what the eggplant do. All right, so back to my rotary cheese grater. I did get this in. I do have a, a bigger food grater. I have the veggie bullet. It's the, it's the big one. And sometimes I don't want to pull the big one out. And then I got to clean up all the components and all that. It's not hard to use. And it does a beautiful job slicing and cutting and dicing and all of that. But sometimes I don't feel like that. I need something a little simpler, right? So I got this grater. And it comes like this. And you put the, put the piece on. Hold on. Let me put it together for you. You put the piece on like that and you turn it like that. Mm -hmm. And then it comes with these three cutting cups, these three blades. Brap all night with that. I don't know what brap means. Okay, so it comes with these three cutting blades so you can slice and you can big grate or you can tiny grate. So this is perfect, perfect size for me when I just wanna whip up something that's fresh and healthy and clean so I can do better with my health. Health. You take that and you slide, slide it in there like that. It goes in that little, right there, little. And then you, here is the handle. You put the handle, slide it in there. And then this part screws onto the end like that now my eggplant is too big but you take your vegetables or whatever you're going to grind and you put it in there this thing pushes it down when it gets down to it get down to the wire and you just crank it and it slices this one is the slicer and the slices come out just as beautiful i did use it yesterday because i sliced some zucchini if you've seen the um the TikTok video well this is where i saw it where the uh, people take the tomatoes, the grape tomatoes, and they put it in the pan with the feta cheese, and then they cook some pasta and all of that. <clears throat> I wanted to make that, but I didn't want to use pasta, okay, because I didn't want the carbs. I want to do mine with zucchini, and so I sliced up my zucchini with this. It was quick. It was effective. Got it all done. Cranked it on out. And went on and cooked my delicious carb-free meal. I don't know. I don't think that you can, You. I don't know. I don't know if you can put steak in there. I guess if you can squeeze a piece of steak in there, you grown enough to make it. If you want to, you want to stick some steak in there and crank it on out. You grown. You can do whatever you would like to do, uh, Dylan. Go on and make you some shredded steak. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Tell me how it turns out, okay? Tell me how it turns out once you use it. All right. So I told y'all I'm making my eggplant parmesan. Look what I found. Look what your mama made me. Look what your mama made me. Y'all ain't know y'all mama cooked, did you? This say your mama's marinara. I found this today. And I went on to pick some up. Your mama's. Now, tomato sauce. Your mama's foods. Now, the reason why this is keto certified, so if you are doing keto, this is keto safe. I'm not really doing keto. I'm not doing keto. I'm not, not really. I'm not doing keto. But the reason why I got this brand, it has 36, more than 3,600 reviews coming in at four and a half stars. The reason why I got this brand right here is because it says it's all natural, no sugar, 
low sodium and I have to watch my sodium. That's just where I am with my health. This is what it say, Dylan. It say your mama's, your mama's sauce, marinara sauce. That's what it say. That's what it say. Who made that? Your mama. Don't be talking about my mama. What you say about my mama? Your mama made that sauce. But I have to watch my sugar and I also have to watch my sodium. So I decided to go with this brand right here um can you put the marinara sauce make like that in the last one of course you can't you said you're jack you asking me if i can put the marinara sauce in here of course you can now i don't recommend it but if that's what you want to do you grown you can do what you want to do you want to put some steak in the in the in the in the cheese grater grinder slicer and you want to follow up with some marinara sauce of course you can because you grown you can you can do that you can put anything in there that you want to put in there if that's what you want to do because you grown okay all right so this sauce right here it was a little bit pricey because i'm used to paying for just regular um regular sauces However, I just made the determination, just like L'Oreal says you're worth it. I had to make a determination that I'm worth the higher price product for my health sake. All right, so this says fresh non-GMO tomatoes, fresh onions, fresh garlic, organic vegetables, uh, white wine, organic chicken stock, organic vegetable stock, organic turmeric, olive oil, basil, salt, oregano, and black pepper. Those are the ingredients. So it doesn't have anything in it that I cannot pronounce. And I can pronounce some words, but nothing in it that I cannot quickly pronounce or anything that I cannot identify. The sodium count is 130 milligrams. And so that is a deal for me. Carbs, five carbs. And then sugars, uh, total sugars is two grams. So I'm going to try this out along with this. Throw some cheese up in there because I'm not vegan. It's going to be real, you know, whatever cheese. And maybe I I might have to do some growing to get to the cheese part. Now, the olive oil that I'll be using for this dish is this Bragg's Organic Unrefined Unfiltered Olive Oil. So, you know, we heard of Bragg's Apple Cider Vinegar. But when I saw that they also made an olive oil, I went ahead and grabbed it. Okay. Again, it's pricey, but I'm worth it. This, this doggone eyeshadow cost 20 but something bucks or you know around that around that range this lip stuff be costing just this i'm gonna wash this off in a few minutes as soon as i get off the live all this coming off my face the primer that i put on today that was expensive we'll take care of the outside but what are we doing for our inside is the eyeshadow similar to olive oil i don't know but if i was going to use this olive oil as it relates to my eyeshadow, I would use some of it to take it off my face because I normally use coconut oil. So if I use coconut oil to take my makeup off, I probably could use this too. But I'm going to put this in my food tonight, okay? When I make my, my eggplant parmesan, I'm going to try. You see, I already done opened it up because I've already used it. Now, I'm not an olive oil connoisseur. I'm not an olive oil connoisseur. Thank you for the follow, Cynthia and Andrew. I'm not an olive oil connoisseur. But we all heard of the Bragg name before, so I want to give the Braggs a try, okay? Zero sodium, zero carbs, probably like all of them. But I'm going to put my eggplant parmesan together, and I'm going to put my hands together like this, and I'm going to tell God thank you, and I'm going to enjoy the food without tearing down my body. All right, and as always, as I have told you many, many, many times, I am taking the Goldie Gummy product. Let me grab it for you. I am taking the Goalie Gummy product, and I love, 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 hold on, y'all, hold on, hold on. I love, love, love the Goalie Gummy product. It helps to curb my appetite and gives me energy, and it has B6, and it has B12, and it has, thank you so much, Andrew. Um, thank you, Dylan. What's my favorite cocoa butter that I use, Dylan? Uh... You missed the other show when I'm showing the cocoa butter, but cocoa butter, my favorite brand is Palmer's, Palmer's Cocoa Butter. So the Goalie uh, gummies, you can eat up to six of these a day. <laughs> 
You can eat up to six of these a day, two at, at, you know, two at a time, two in the morning, two in the afternoon, two at in the evening, if that's what you choose to do. I don't know if you can eat them all six. They take, they're so good. You'd be wanting to eat them all. I, I, let me talk about me. I want to eat them all at the same time, but you know, discipline. I got to discipline myself. Um, Andrew, you, you said you lost a lot of weight with these. I do enjoy these. They are the apple cider vinegar gummies. So whatever benefits apple cider vinegar has, these claim to have that. They are gluten-free. They are vegan. They are non-GMO. They are unfiltered. This is a deal for me. I have these all over the house just in case, you know, one thing that I will say, it does curb my appetite. So if I take these right here, I'm not inclined to get hungry for several hours. What is GTG? Oh, okay. Well, thank you um, so much for watching Anonymous. I appreciate you. But right now I haven't eaten today because I had some of these, but I am going, I'm going to fix this, 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 uh, this, uh, this right here i'm gonna be I'm, I'm gonna be chefing in my kitchen in a few minutes um natasha if you're still here there are the lashes in the carousel along with the brand of makeup that i'm wearing the brush that i applied my makeup with the lip bar a link for the lip bar the concealer that i have on i was doing the most tonight with all this makeup stuff and then if you like any of the items that you see in the background, the table, the pillows, the ladder, the speaker, all of that, these things I did get off of Amazon. And you can click the link if you are interested in any of those back products there. I appreciate you watching today. Um, that is the end of our show. It's been a fun show today. Hold on. How come my music ain't playing? Play music. <laughs> That ain't what I was trying to do, but I'll take that for right now. Thank you so much for tuning in to Deal or Dud and hanging out with me today. I hope you saw something that you like, or that you're interested in, and that you love. And I'll see you next time on Thursday night for another episode of Deal or Dud. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following. Thank you for listening, engaging, commenting, sharing, liking, loving, clicking. I'm out of words. All right, y'all have a good night. I'll see you on the Thursday night edition of Deal or Dud. 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 With me, Kimberly. Good night.